Hey everybody, so this is your last chance for points for small groups, uh, small group math groups for week 17. It's the week of uh, December 3rd. Today is December 3rd, tomorrow will be December 4th, which will be Friday. Monday was uh, November 30th, so if you're during that week and you are looking to get a little bit of credit for your math groups, if you missed it, here's your last chance. This won't be for full credit, but you can receive partial credit by doing the following. I need you to follow along. I need you to answer all of the questions uh, that you see here. You need to write the question down, and then you need to write your answer, and then I need you to send that to me via a picture to my email. So take a picture of it, screenshot, and send that to me via email, and I will give you uh, some partial credit for this week's math groups. All right, here we go. So the first thing we covered, this is just review. You've got uh, 28, negative 28. We need to finish this equality. Pull my uh, my tools up here. So to finish this equality, we've got 28, negative 28. Of course, that is going to be 28 will be greater than negative 28 because let's see, we had a number line here. I have zero in the middle, of course. 28 would be on this end over here to the right, and negative 28 would be on the opposite side, far to the left. Now. With these two numbers, remember everything, anything further to the right is going to be larger than anything further to the left. So 28 in this case will be greater than negative 28. If you have any questions on those, please make sure you let me know and I can work through with you. All right, number two. Second one we worked on this week, and this one's a tricky one. I have the students evaluate. So I had the negative, negative three or the opposite of negative three. We could also say, and the absolute value of negative three. So is negative negative three greater than, less than, or equal to the absolute value of negative three? Okay, go ahead and try that one on your paper. Just try her out. I don't care if it's wrong. Just give me your best guess. All right, in this case, we could do our number line got zero, of course, and we've got one, two, and three on this side, and one, two, and three over here. These would be negative, negative one, negative two, negative three, one, two, and three on this side. All right, the absolute, the opposite of negative three, so we would go one, two, three, this way, of course. There's negative three, but we're going the opposite direction, so actually going this way, one, two, three. So we would actually end up at three. Same deal with the absolute value of negative three. One, two, three spaces, but we're not moving, you can't move a negative, you still move a positive direction. So that would also be positive three. So these two will actually be equal because they are both equal to positive three. The important thing to remember here is that the negative of a negative or the opposite of a negative is actually a positive number. Likewise, the absolute value of any integer is positive. So they would both be positive 3, so they are equal on that one. Moving on. All right. The next question was to evaluate this problem. Go ahead and try it on your own. Pause the video and see what you come up with, and then we'll check it here in just a second. All right. So for this one, we're going to be using PEMDAS. And I'm guessing when you did this, you got one of two answers. You either got 22 or you got 14. With this one, you probably did the 2 times 3 first, which gave you 6. Then plus the 8 would give you 14. Over here, if you do the addition first, we have 3 plus 8, which does give us 11. Times 2 would give us 22. The math on both of these is correct, step by step. But which way do we need to go? We can't have the same problem and have two different answers in math. We have to have a concrete answer. So what we'll do is PEMDAS, so the order of operations. Uh, if you don't know what this is, please go back through and watch the Flocabulary song that was posted this week. But here we go. PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. So as we're going through this, the important things to remember are on the multiply and divide, you're going to go from left to right. Also, on the add and subtract section, we are going to work from left to right, whichever we come to first. Parentheses, of course, 
or anything in parentheses or brackets, any of that stuff. And the exponent is going to be these numbers that have a little floating number off to the side. We're actually going to work on one of those in just a minute. So now using this PEMDAS method to go through and work on our problem, we would come down and let's work it through here. So in this, in this case, because we want to multiply first, we have the 2 times 3 first, that gives us 6, plus the 8 would give us 14. Because we do the multiplication first, PE, we don't have any parentheses or exponents, but then we would do the multiply and divide first, going left to right. So we did the multiplication first, then the addition. That's why 14 is the correct answer for this problem. All right, moving on to the next one. Go ahead and try this one out. Remember PEMDAS. I'll go ahead and write it in here. P E M D A S. Go ahead and pause the video. Try this problem, and then we'll check it here in just a second. All right, so for this one, we have 9 plus 3 in parentheses. And parentheses is our first thing we're going to do, so I'm going to do that first. 9 plus 3 will give me 12. And then when we do order of operations, much like we will do when we start on algebra next week, you want to finish a part of the problem and then rewrite the problem underneath so you know what you're working with. So now I have 12 divided by 3. I have no exponents. I do have one division sign. And there's only one other part of the problem, so we're going to do the multiplication division. 12 divided by 3 is 4. We have no addition and subtraction. We are done. 4 is our answer for this. Again, if you have any questions on working through problems like this, let me know. Again, we did the addition first here because it's in parentheses. That always wins out and gets the first, uh, it gets first shot as you're going through and working through the problem. All right, the next one. We have 15 minus 7 plus 3 times 2. Go ahead and try that out, and we'll check your answer here in just a second. All right, let's work this guy through. So we have PEMDAS again. We'll do our put our PEMDAS up here, and we'll work through step by step. As I started working through when I learned algebra and working with linear equations, I would actually write this up at the top of my page each and every time, and I cross it off sorry, as I go through working on each problem. Mr. Lambert is just having lots of problems keeping the problems going here. All right. Sorry, there we go. There we are. All right, so we have 15 minus 7 plus 3 times 2. Sorry, I accidentally bumped a key and it deleted everything. There we go. All right, so we have no parentheses in this problem. We can get rid of that. Uh, no exponents that I can see. So the next thing we're going to do is we will multiply, divide, left to right. Addition, subtraction, we'll do that left to right as well, but let's do these first. So multiply and dividing first. No multiplication, division, and here's our one multiplication and our division part. So we're going to rewrite that as 3 times 2 equals 6. I'm going to rewrite it, and I'm going to rewrite these other parts of the problem just to keep it up. All right, now we're going to add subtract, working left to right. So I'm going to go with this first because it's the first one I come to, left to right. 15 minus 7 gives me 8 plus 6. I go ahead and answer it because... There, I'm done with it. That's my last piece of the problem. I'll do this addition part. 8 plus 6 is 14. And that would be your answer. Hopefully that makes sense to you. It's just going step by step. If you have questions on that, let me know. But follow the PEMDAS. If you have not done so, please go through and um, do watch the video and make your journal entry that I had to do at the beginning of the week because that will really help you out as you work through these problems. All right, the last one we did. This was a little tricky because this actually uses a part of this step-by-step um, -step process that we haven't done yet. It will be your first time where we do exponents. And if you have done your work day by day, you should have seen exponents already this week. It was our Thursday lesson, um, working these out as multiplication, as multiplication, uh, working out as factors. So you should know that we're going to take this and we're going to factor it. But go ahead, 
we still need to do things in the order that they are supposed to be done. So I'm going to write PEMDAS up here. I want you to give this one a try, and then we'll check it here in just a second. Again, don't worry if it's right or wrong. I'm more interested in seeing your work and how you think things through before I show you how to do it. So go ahead and try it out. Don't care if it's right or wrong. Go ahead and give me your best shot. Give me an answer. Show all your work, and then we'll check it here in just a second. All right. Hopefully it paused. Hopefully we're ready to go. Okay. So do we have – we do not have any parentheses here. I'm going to cross him out. No parentheses, but I do have exponents. So remember, when you have an exponent, basically what it's telling you is that your base or the big number is going to be the number you're going to use, and you're going to factor it, use it as a factor this many, this many times, the number of times that your what's called radical, that's the number up at the top, tells you, or exponent. So this would be 4 as a factor, 2 times, or 4 times 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re my, rewrite my problem. You can either write this as 18 divided by 3 plus, and then either do this answer or what I usually would do. Sorry, I forgot my 3 in there. Plus, and then I would actually put parentheses around it and do show my factorization out this way. So then I have 18 divided by 3 plus 16, of course. Now, I'm going to go on through PEMDAS and keep working on 3 because we've done our exponent. Now we're going to multiply or divide, working left to right. I do have a division part of this problem. 18 divided by 3, which gives me 6. Rewrite the rest of the problem. I have 6 plus 16. Now I'll just add and subtract because that's my last little bit here. And 6 plus 16 is 22. All right, and there you go. That's working it through with PEMDAS. The, the thing to remember as we are working on these when we are working with exponents. I know I had a couple people this week, um, which was very smart. They said, well, I know we did this last year. And if I have 10 to the third power, I know that that's going to be a 1 and 3 zeros behind it. So I had a number of people that thought this would be a 4 with two zeros. Actually, what's going on when we do it this way? We showed you the trick last year, but we didn't show you what's really happening. This is really 10 as a factor three times. So 10 times 10 times 10. And if you work that out, 10 times 10 is 100 times another 10 is actually 1,000. So we're doing the factorization here. It just doesn't quite look like it because there's an easier trick to figuring out with 10s. With other numbers, if I had 5 to the third power, it's going to look a little different. I would have my 5 times 5. So 3, we do it a third time. And we can figure that out. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5. 25 times 5, or 5 quarter, quarters I know, was 125 cents. So remember, that's how you're going to work these exponents out. You will be working with exponents from now until the end of this cycle, at least, because uh, we're going to be using them as we work through linear equation. So if you have any questions on those, please, please, please hop on office hours. Let Mr. Lambert know so I can help you with that. Otherwise, good job today. Make sure you take a picture of the work that you did on your sheet of paper, upload that to an email and send it to me, and I will get some points headed your way for math. All right, guys, have a great weekend. I will see you soon.